If you're interested in taking pictures of text, a book, or any kind of document for documentation purposes, then what you want to do is very, very simple. You can use the macro mode if you are close to subjects, but this basically automates the camera. It's not going to allow the camera to focus any closer like with many point and shoot cameras. So basically I just keep it on the program mode. Your lens will have, if you turn the focus, will show you in the top how close to the subject you can be before it can't focus anymore. So with this particular lens, I have a macro section and it is really completely irrelevant to what mode I'm in. As long as I press the shutter button halfway, the lens will be able to focus on the subject if I'm within the proper distance. So if I'm too close, I'll need to back up a little bit and then try again. So basically the settings should be like this. Your metering mode should be evaluative. If it's not, go ahead and press the up navigation button or the metering mode button right here and choose the top evaluative metering option. Press set. Your ISO really depends on the lighting condition. If you're indoors and let's say you're in a very low light situation like a library, you need to take a photograph of a book to make a copy, then you're probably going to want to use a higher ISO. You probably don't want to use the flash because if you're too close to the subject, then the lens will just get in the way and half of the picture will be dark. So try and avoid using the flash with copy scenes. Your white balance should be set according to the type of light being used. Again, we'll use the library analogy. Usually in libraries, there are tungsten lights. So what you would want to do is press the white balance button and move over to tungsten. This will get you a more accurate color. If it's just text, then it's really not the color that you're interested in, and this is completely irrelevant. But if you are taking a picture of a photograph where colors are important, then you're going to want to set the white balance. Go ahead and press Set. And for the ISO, as I mentioned before, go ahead and press the ISO button, which is up here. You can press that with your index finger and use the up and down navigation buttons to increase the ISO. Press set. By increasing the ISO to 800 or 1600, it allows you a faster shutter speed because the camera will be more sensitive to the available light. So remember, we're not using the flash. We need to increase the camera's sensitivity to the light that is available to us by increasing the ISO. This will help you and hold the camera so you don't have to use a tripod. If you are using a tripod, then the ISO is irrelevant and you can go with 100 to maintain a better image quality. 800 may improve the camera sensitivity, but it also increases the amount of grain in your picture. So our ISO is increased. We're not using the flash. We're set to the program mode so we can control the flash. The white balance is set accordingly. Our metering mode is set to evaluative. Basically, that's it. There's really no such thing as a macro mode that will help you focus closer. The only thing that will help is the lens. And if the lens can't focus close enough, then you're going to want to change lenses. Remember, you are working with a camera that has a lot of resolution. So you can take the picture and it may not seem like it's filling up the entire frame, but again, this is for documentation purposes, so you can crop the image later on and still maintain enough resolution for a good print. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.